Happy Podversary! And thank you for joining me on Noise Blue Zion's one year anniversary podcast episode. And of course, this is Jasmine Castillo. Some people like to call me DJ Jim Jam, but that's way back in the day. So, this is all going to be about the goings ons of guests from 2021, what they're doing currently this year, as well as what has been going on for me as well. So, let's get into it. Boy, oh boy, has it been a year. I cannot believe since May of 2021, I decided to take up the opportunity of becoming an actual podcaster. A whole lot of things have unraveled since then, and I am so excited to have an extended family of people that are now officially, we are connected, we are family. And to watch them grow is just amazing. I have learned so much in the social media and the different opportunities that have become available for so many people during this pandemic that had occurred in 2020. But outside of all of that, this podcast is going to be shining some light on positive things. That's the whole goal of this podcast. I love to see people grow and I am so happy and honored to have the past present guest, as well as the future guests that have not been presented on my podcast. I have about 15 more episodes that have not even dropped as of today. So it's with pleasure I'm going to play back a couple of recordings of updates on a handful of my 2021 guests. And of course, I'm going to take you down this journey. The guests that did call in and provide me their updates. And of course, they won't be in order. So let's get into this. One of the guests that I'm going to hit on is Michael Overly. Now, if you're not very familiar with Michael Overly's episode, Michael Overly was episode 33. Such a great guest over a positive energy and vibe. He is the person who has his own organization called Dogs and Men LLC, as well as a podcast, and I believe he has some other additional updates. Check it out. Well, Miss Jasmine, oh my God, I can't thank you enough. Had such a wonderful time on your podcast. I'm so excited to be able to share. Things are just moving. Things are rolling. My business is doing great. I'm helping folks getting paid for helping folks how cool is that so yeah things are just moving i'm co-authoring a book now you know i wrote the one book now i'm co-authoring in another book with a bunch of heavy hitters and uh creating a new program i started a new llc with another guy to uh to help men in another way it's called awake men llc and we're starting some in-person stuff and doing powerful work i'm totally excited so yeah, thank you again for what you do, for helping all of us out and help getting us out into the world. Super happy, and I hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye. He is going far, and I love that we have stayed in contact with each other on how it's going with his new dog, Indigo. And uh, for all the dog lovers and all the men out there, he has found a perfect niche in connection between men and dogs. If you want to learn more about him, I do have his episode here available, episode 33 in the show notes. My next guest that has given me an update is Fung Tran. Episode 25 She talked about body image, healthy eating habits, and women fitness routine. Check out what she has to say so far for this year. 
Jasmine, this is Fong, and I hope that you're doing well. 2021 has been a wonderful year for me. I've been featured in a couple of online articles, which is a very amazing thing to do. And also, I got to help out, you know, a couple more, more women who look like us to love to exercise and keep doing it and living the life that they deserve. And at the same time, I can't wish for anything better. And I can't wait to see what 2022 has in store. Store for me, definitely. I'm seeking to expand my services more, especially into in person. So if you are in the Atlanta area, we might be able to meet up. And that's pretty much it for all of my updates, Jasmine. I hope that you're doing well as well. And goodbye. One of the things that I really enjoyed speaking with Fung about was something that was a sensitive issue. Women of color, specifically on their body image in social media, she had hit on a lot of things that not that many people like to talk about. So if you want to know more about Feng Chen, she is a certified exercise physiologist and she has her own business called Be Active Is Easy LLC. And I'll definitely have her in the show notes. Another guest is Dr. Rowena Winkler, episode 22. And she has such a strong empowering the inner muse and the creative writing and i really enjoyed speaking with her because she had a different take on life and life within itself as a whole so check out what she had to say about her 2022 upcomings hi everyone this is dr rowena winkler cosmic catalyst coach and realignment strategist for journey to consciousness llc since being on the podcast a couple of different things i celebrated my one year anniversary of my coaching business back in february and had a little celebration that went really well, just celebrating and reflecting on everything that I have learned in my first full year of entrepreneurship. In addition to that, I have revised, refined my offerings a little bit in addition to the coaching that I offer women and clients through my integration of expertise in communication and astrology. I also now include human design readings for folks who want to learn more about their human design. And I also now have an intuitive marketing offering where I use my expertise in communication and marketing and I help clients with their businesses but using an intuitive and more spiritual lens so not only do I help with strategy and all of those fun things when it comes to marketing and business planning but I also incorporate astrological readings and I do tarot and oracle card readings so it's a beautiful integration of everything that I have done in my career so far, and I'm really, really excited about that. And the last update is that I am now opening my calendar for more one-on-one -on -one clients. So if anyone interested in listening to this podcast and would love to learn more and work with me, I do have a free 20-minute catalyst call to chat through about through that, but I am offering three and six month retainers to really dive in deep and remove any blocks or limiting beliefs to integrate those spiritual modalities that I had mentioned and to help you find your voice and own your magic in the marketplace, whether that's finding the career trajectory that works for you, becoming a small business owner yourself, or just, you know, thriving instead of surviving. So I look forward to hearing from everyone. And thank you so much for having me on the show. It's been great. Dr. Rowena Winkler has had such an impact on our conversation amongst other persons that were guests who kind of fell in the same category as creating their own story and publishing their own books. She was an encouraging diving board for my idea of creating my own story. And if you want to know more about Dr. Rowena, I will have her link in the show notes as well. Now, I think Jessica Bear, also known under her pen name, Paula Jean Ferry, episode 32. Jessica has such a wonderful personality. I really enjoyed talking to her about Tourette's syndrome, getting to know exactly what that meant, 
almost make it considered using it as a strength for her tools, writing, and empowerment. One of the amazing self-publishing authors that has created the tools in writing as well as dealing with Tourette syndrome all in one by telling her story. And here's a little bit of an update about Jessica. Check it out. Since being on the podcast last year, I have had so many exciting updates um, and things that have happened. My fourth book was just about to be published uh, at the time that I was on the podcast. I actually have a friend who is a New York Times bestselling author um, who does writing coaching, um, but he actually invited me to one of his author training events and offered that book to anyone who signed up for his coaching program. So he bought several copies of my book that he then uh, was able to distribute to other people, which was super exciting to have that kind of a reach. Um, I was able to start dating and get engaged to a wonderful man and we are getting married in a couple of months uh it seems kind of fast but we we've known each other for the past decade so it's really not <laughs> um and it's super exciting to see how that as well as several business ideas and opportunities i had the idea to host a reading retreat where people can just run away and read books for an entire weekend I just got back from that. It was phenomenal. Um, I'm going to start doing those much more consistently to be able to create a space for people to create a life that they want um, where we're able to indulge in things, uh, give ourselves that space and that grace uh, that we don't normally give ourselves uh, while also allowing them space to write their books. It's becoming a, a book escape where you can read you can write you can sit in the you know pool hot tub uh, or whatever things that your soul might be needing um but but it will be centered around books which i'm super excited for so i'll do be doing another one of those in september and probably be doing about two of those per year i've had some great collaboration opportunities pop up um where i get to work with just the most phenomenal women and we all kind of have this hub of um of healing and focusing on different aspects uh and I get to focus on the creativity and the aspect of creation with that um it's been super fun to see how quickly everything has progressed uh since being on the podcast last year and I'm so excited to see how that continues to grow Love it, love it, love it. So if you are in that moment in your life where you are needing some encouragement and someone who can give you the empowering of strong, proper writing tools in creating your own book, please reach out to Jessica. I will have her links in the show notes. Next update, Myasia Jabber, which was one of my vegans who owns her own bakery right here in Texas. I'm so excited. She was episode 14. Uh, her company is called Linda Renee Sweets. And we talked a lot on another hot topic, being vegan while black and her being the first generation college student, as well as being a teacher during this pandemic of 20 and 2021. So let's hear about her updates. Check it out. Hi, Jasmine. I hope all is well. I know that I'm a little late, but I told myself that I am going to get this to you today. I promised myself that I was going to get it to you today, and that is what I'm going to do. Um, so I hope you are doing well. I am sending you lots of love. Um, I have not seen your face, but I've seen you posting online. And I just want to say again, I'm so proud of your shout-out DSW article. It was great. Um you are amazing, and I just always have to um, pay you respect for giving me this platform and this opportunity to share my business with others, specifically people in Dallas, but not only people in Dallas, all over the world, because you have listeners everywhere. So I truly want to say thank you for that and for the opportunities that you've created and for small businesses. Um, so business updates for me. Um, I am currently at the Frisco Fresh Market on Saturdays. Um, please check out my Instagram to see the Saturdays that I'm not there. 
I'm not there on Sundays, but they are also open on Sundays. I'm there Saturdays from 8 to 4 if you want to stop by. Um, I am also planning the Deganale Festival. Um, it is a festival that has food, it has apparel, drinks, anything that you can name, all things vegan. Um, and they have a few different locations. Um, I will be participating in the Miami location on May 21st. I am very, very, very excited. Um, but they also have spots in L.A., New York, Toronto, Chicago. And exciting enough, Dallas is on the list for this year. Dallas will be on the list for November 12th, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's November 12th. Um, and it will be at the Addison Circle Park. And I'm very excited about that. So if you're not able to come to Miami, you can always come to the Dallas one. Um, and those tickets are on sale for both locations. Um, and you can get those at veganfest.com. Um, and you can check out the dates for the other locations if you are located in those areas. But it is a big event. Um, I went to Vegan Dale Festival in 2019, and now here we are in 2022, and I am a vendor. So I am very excited, very blessed, very humbled um, to have this opportunity. So um, I am looking forward to it. Um, and, yeah, that's all of my updates as far as business goes. Um, website is still www.LindaReneeSweets.com. My Instagram, Linda Renee Sweets. And, oh, I did make a Twitter, so Linda Renee Sweets, because I couldn't get the S on there because I ran out of characters. Or you can look at my TikTok videos at Linda Renee Sweets as well. Um, so that's all I have for you for updates on my business. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of hugs. Um, and many blessings to you and to the listeners. Have a good day. Bye. I had the honor of actually meeting up with her just briefly. She came all the way to my home in Greenville to drop off some of her yummy cupcakes. And I will go ahead and place a couple of pictures on our interaction. But oh my gosh, I could not wait to open up that box and I had to fight my kids off on these vegan cupcakes because they were just so good and they looked delicious. But if you are interested in knowing more and finding out all about Myasia, her shop is located in McKinney, Texas and it's called Linda Renee Sweets. I will have her links in the show notes. Okay, last but not least, I think I had to have him as my the finale of this podversary because if you don't know the backstory about me and Justin Harris, we kind of go a little bit way back when he was here in Texas. You know, me being a medical courier, he used to work at a lab and that's how we connected. And on top of that, when I found out more about him, that he was also an, a musician. My gosh, we definitely had a lot to talk about. So Justin Harris, also known as Just Divine, he was actually episode three. And here are some updates in regards to how his 2022 is going. Check it out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Justin Harris, better known as Just Divine. And I was a guest on the Noise Palooza on podcast with the lovely Miss Jasmine Castillo. But um, I'm going to give you all a little update real quick as to what I got going on or what I had going on in the past. So if y'all allow me, man, sit back, chill, take a break if you got to, because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up into it. So basically, um, in the past, I released an album called Quality Over Quantity. You can listen to it anywhere on anywhere but Apple Music. Apple Music has some funky going on, so I couldn't really do nothing with that. So, um, yeah, so I've been working on working on music, you know, day in and day out. You know, I'm, I'm really I really take my time with it because it's art. You know what I mean? So I released singles from then. And I'm also working on the EP and the album called uh, the EP is called The Calm. And then the album is called Before the Storm. So if you see the correlation, you know, you know, I'm going with it. So, um, yeah, I've been working on that. Just, you know, trying to perfect my craft and, you know, take my time with it. Because, like I said, I really hold a qual- whole quality very near and dear to my heart because I believe quality is uh, more important than quantity. You know what I mean? You can only have oh so much of something and the quality is going to dip on each and every last one of them versus you having, you know, a smaller quantity, but the quality of them is high. So that's how I view everything that I do. Um, Also, another thing, um, I just want to say, Jasmine, uh, this is Justin Harris talking to you. 
I am very, very glad and I am blessed. I am so happy to have somebody like you in my corner. And I can genuinely say that you're a friend. Like, you understand me. And I, I've never met somebody who truly understands me. Like, I don't have to look over my shoulder when I'm when, when I'm actually, you know, giving you a conversation or you're talking to me. Like, you know, I, I really feel like I can be myself around you. So within every thread of my body, I love every thread of you. Like, you have transformed into this beautiful human being, this this lovely, generous woman that anyone that anyone should have in their life. And I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate you allowing me to come on to your podcast and, and allowing me to, 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 you know, share my art with the world. I really appreciate that. I really, really do. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, um, my name is Justin Harris, AKA just divine quality over quantity. You can listen to it anywhere, but Apple music, Jasmine Castillo, miss Castillo, Jasmine, whatever you want to go by the noise Palooza podcast was a success. I don't care what the numbers was. You did a great job on that. All the other podcasts you might have lined up or you do have lined up. I really hope that these go into the stratosphere. I really do. But Jasmine, I love you with every thread of my body and all my heart. I appreciate you for allowing me to come on to your podcast. Everyone else, I appreciate y'all. If y'all came and checked out the music, but I'm going to get up out of here, man. Um, congratulations to everybody who was a guest on the podcast. And um, hopefully let's see what's in store. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy, Just Divine, and I'm signing out. Peace. Yeah, so like I said, I had to leave this for the best for last. Uh, so now you kind of know the ins and out story of between me and Justin. And I have been following him ever since. And I know that he currently has a podcast going on on YouTube as well. So I will go ahead and have all his additional information in the links uh, under the show notes. And I want to top off this anniversary cake with a couple of candles and frosting this was such a journey because i had started to figure out technology once again in 2021 and i'm still learning i've had scenarios where i've recorded and completely forgot that my microphone was not plugged in i've had instances where i didn't press the recording button I've had instances where I am doing a full-on conversation through Zoom and the file gets corrupted. All the obstacles that a podcaster can go through, I had them. And believe me, I am still in the process of learning. But I enjoy it. I love it because this is my opportunity to extend my services as a voiceover artist. I felt that there was a calling for other small businesses, entrepreneurs, musicians, and artists to get their voice out there and talk about their struggles and to, and to talk about their journey and successes. Just like me, for example, not only is it shedding light on other guests and their stories and success, but I'm also growing as well. I'm maturing along with them. I've always enjoyed listening to other people's stories since I was a little child. And this was the opportunity to have other people listen to their stories as well. And I thank you. I thank you for even if you listened to one minute of one of my episodes to undoubtedly following every single episode from beginning to end. Have yourself locked in for the notifications on your podcast apps. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. In regards to my, what I've been doing so far for this year, my gosh, I have gone through so many transitions and all in the positive ways that you could imagine. There is mishaps here and there, but that's just how life is. One of the things that I really enjoyed, like I said, is I have been growing exponentially in the social media with the connections of beautiful beautiful, beautiful people from all walks of life to the point that I've actually extended not only to this podcast, extended outside to doing a true crime podcast. And it has been going on for about two months now. I have had such a wonderful, warm embrace of the true crime community on Twitter. And I want to give shout outs to everyone and a support in this new journey that I have. So far, I have dropped about six episodes. I will also have that in the show notes if you want to see and hear that podcast as well. Uh, Outside of that, oh my gosh, like Maya had identified is, yes, I have been uh, interviewed for DFW Shoutout Magazine. Thank you so much, Maya, for 
referring me to this online magazine. Um, that was a, a little nerve wracking for me, but I had to just do it. I had to do it. Um, me sitting back and just twiddling my thumbs and having constant self-doubt about who I am and where I've come from. That's the whole reason why I created these podcasts. I wanted to show that everyone, everyone has the opportunity, no matter where you start in life, you can accomplish so many things when you have the proper support, when you have a podcast that actually has the, all the tools that equipped you in life. It doesn't matter where you are coming from, where you're going. That is the whole reason why I started this podcast. And if you know a little bit about this podcast, it had originally started in 2010 as a radio show on a Wisconsin campus. And I did a little volunteering here and there. I took this show and I recreated it and refurbished it for the year 2021. Almost 10 years later, here I am. I am so happy. And within this time of this journey, I have rekindled and reconnected with someone that I have always loved. And we are finally engaged. We are finally going to be married in the near future. I am so happy to have this journey continue on with her. I am so loved and I'm, I'm just overjoyed by all the things that have been going on. Everything has come full circle. And I want to make sure that everyone has that same feeling like don't ever give up don't ever give up remember you are loved and i am so glad to have you on this journey and we are going to continue on this journey for another year so if you haven't heard of any of my other episodes please go back to the first one with d calijo and it takes on from there and like i said i have about 15 more episodes that are going to be uploaded that i have not done yet so stay tuned every Friday. I will be dropping episodes and I would love to hear from you. Please don't hesitate to share, like, subscribe, and let's continue this journey together. Thank you so much again. Thank you for listening to Noise Blue Zion podcast. And if you enjoy listening to my podcast, please don't hesitate to give me a five-star rating on Apple or Spotify also wanted to give a shout out and thank you so much to all my guests past present and future and stay tuned for the next upcoming episode on fridays